Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructive play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello and welcome back to match number three. My name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG, and we are playing a reanimator deck. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. Uh, we're playing reanimator in a vintage phantom Swiss, uh, vintage cube phantom Swiss draft. That is a mouthful, and I do not regret it. All right, here is a purid imp. Uh, you get the discard a card and give it flying until end of turn. Uh, we're going to end up discarding probably Massacre, Worm, or Emrakul. And then hopefully we get to reanimate it. Alright, Umazawa's Jite. Alright, we are going to play Imperial Seal here. And we're going to search up... Let's see here. Probably a reoccurring nightmare. I guess we can also get uh, necromancy if we wanted to. I think reoccurring nightmare is the most uh, consistent one. Yeah, we're gonna get reoccurring nightmare here. Oops, turn off. Uh, we're gonna attack, give it flying by discarding an Emrakul, and and that's it. Now, hopefully, our opponent doesn't kill our putrid imp. If they do kill our putrid imp, that'll be that'll be pretty rough on our end. Emrakul is a 13-13 flying trample protection from instants. And we also have Masker Worm. So if they play a bunch of stuff on their board, uh, I can just discard uh, Masker Worm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They tricked me. They had Soul Ring. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is bad for us. This is not how I wanted this to go. Um, do we want to discard Masker Worm or do we want to hold it for Through the Breach? I guess hold it for Through the Breach at this point. No, I can't cast Through the Breach yet. Uh, I guess I guess cast Reoccurring Nightmare and pass the turn back. Make them live in fear the rest of their life. Yeah, they definitely uh, got me up on that soul ring. Oh yeah, they're just gonna they're gonna be on the beatdown plan. This is like a mono white aggro deck. That seems pretty good. I hope they just make a bunch of one ones that we're able to uh, kill. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments, selfless spirits, fine. Make a bunch of 1-1s. One nope. They're just going to go the aggro route. Alright, we need a red source of mana. Or a reanimation spell. Would be good. Or one more black source. So one of these things is would be good. Um, so they can give it plus 4 up to 5, 8, 9, 10. They can swing for 10 this turn. So we need a red source off the top. And even that doesn't kill Stoneforge. And then Stoneforge can get flying off of Elspeth. And I think we're just dead. I guess I can uh, Massacre Worm. We have to have a red source here. Alright. So we might actually be able to survive this. Here's how. Uh, we're going to Massacre Worm. Oops. Cancel. Through the Breach, Massacre Worm. Swing at Elspeth. Is 
if Elspeth dies, um, then we reanimate Emrakul. Alright, so our opponent loses two. If our opponent has any removal spell for this Massacre Worm, then it, we're just dead. Alright, Elspeth down. Reoccurring Nightmare, and we're cool. Alright, now we're going to pass the turn. So this worked out just barely by the skin of our teeth. Uh, now we just got to see if our opponent has a blink effect or some sort of removal spell for Emrakul. And if they do, then uh, we lose. We may have stabilized at one life, though. Alright, white creatures get plus one, plus one. Alright. And now we just gotta pray. <laughs> I almost cast Thoughtseize out of a uh, habit of the top deck. Uh, we're gonna play Reoccurring Nightmare. We can. We cannot attack. Uh, we would die if we ended up attacking. So we're very close to winning. All right, here's Leviathan. So I can attack. Interesting. Oh, that's not going to work. I, I almost ruined, uh, I almost lost the game for us. So wait a minute, it gets plus one, plus one. So I swing for 13. I bring Putrid Imp back. No, I need the Swamp. No, I don't. I Putrid Imp, discard my hand. It gets plus one, plus one. It's a risky play. I guess... No, it's, it's too risky. We're just going to pass. There was something I could have done there, but it's just... What I was planning on doing was attacking with Emrakul, hitting him down to four. And then I was going to Reoccurring Nightmare the Putrid Imp. Discard my hand, making Threshold. And then the Imp would be a 2-2. Two -two. And then I could... Reanimate Inkwell Leviathan, which has Shroud. Alright, I guess we gotta see what our opponent's gonna do here. Alright, Soulbound both have double strike, which is fine. Unless it's not fine. Becomes a 4-4. Four, four. All right, now we're just dead. So now I have to, ooh, no, we're not. I have to be, I have to do the risky play though. Cause I have to get this uh, shield rid on the battlefield. 
All right, so we're going to attack here. Okay, we got to get Imp. We're going to play Reoccurring Nightmare. Our opponent's going to try and kill Imp, but it's not going to work. Unless our opponent has Path to Exile. Okay. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to try and get some information here. Oh, and they had Swords to Plowshare. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked anyhow then. That's unfortunate. Emrakul is the only thing saving us there. Alright, um, let's see here. Inquisition's not bad. Mind Twist isn't bad. Well, they're mono white, so that doesn't matter. Again, I can't believe I'm not playing this Badlands. I completely forgot to forgot to put it in our deck. Um, Flame Slash and Char probably aren't bad either. What I bring in Inquisition. I'm gonna take out Duretti. I think it's too mana, mana hungry. Masker Worm's good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. These 42. All right. Yes, I'd like to play. Um, I feel like this hand's kind of keepable. I'm gonna start with this and pass. There's a bad lands, which is good. Hopefully we don't get wastelanded. I don't know if it's in here. Uh, we're just gonna keep passing. I could grab a uh, faithless looting with entomb as an option to cast next turn. All right, Gideon's not what I wanted to see here. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to Entomb Faithless Looting. Prevent all damage our Badlands is going to do. Interesting. Okay. Well, Badlands is going to get a Faithless Looting. <laughs> There's Buried Alive also. I think I want to start with the... Uh, I want to start with the Faithless Looting because I know... Uh, that's unfortunate. I should have left up the Badlands. I know exactly what I want to discard. So we're going to discard here. If I get to reanimate that Iona next turn, that'll be uh, very, very good. Uh, we would have been able to if I... Uh, was smart and played my mana correctly. I didn't think we'd be able to play anything for some reason. So if we find a way to reanimate Iona and name White, uh, that's just going to be game. I think I undervalued uh, Iona game one. So we're taking eight here. All right, Iona down. Uh, white. And pass the turn. All right, now we gotta pray we can uh, pray we can win. He can. Oh wait a minute. Oh, he's screwed. Oh. 
All right, our opponent messed up here. And something I messed up. Whenever a creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. They could have upticked Gideon. And so that is... That's lucky on our part. That was a misplay on our part. And that was a misplay on our opponent's part. And it worked out in our favor. We're just going to run this back. Oh, I am so glad our opponent didn't see that. I would have been so sad. Uh, we're in a mulligan this hand. We need more lands. I guess we keep this one, but we're not happy about it. Uh, I'm going to turn one thoughts. He's our opponent. Or I can flame. I'm going to flame slash this Kithian, actually. Stoneforge is going to grab Jitae, and then I can Thoughtseize the Jitae from their hand. That seems pretty good. And then we get the Shallow Grave something. Once we find a discard outlet. Alright, this is all good stuff. There is our discard outlet. Alright, that's really good. And now... Yeah, now we want a shallow grave, the Emra cool. Attack for seven. And then, actually, this makeshift uh, mannequin is actually really good with... Uh, Leviathan because it can't be the target of anything because it has Shroud. And I think that's just going to take the game. Yeah, this should be game here. Uh, game two, our opponent, our opponent's misplay led to our victory. That was very, that was very fortunate for us. And if our opponent can't gain any life here, I think that's our uh, our win. Let's see if our opponent can do anything. Game number two. I can't believe we won that. Our opponent should have won if they would have realized. I can't believe we would have lost to Gideon. Oh, we did it. Oh, we got there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out manatraders.com. They are the best number one card rental service on the MTG market. Um, whether you're playing tabletop or digital magic, uh, check them out. If you use our promo code crocodile, you save 15% off your first three months. They're worth giving them a try, even if you don't think you're going to use the service fully. Pay for a couple months of it. See if you like it. You can cancel. There's no fee or anything. We use uh, we use Mana Traders for every single video we do. Inked Gaming, we use for a lot of our products, uh, a lot of our accessories. Uh, we have play mats, we have mouse pads, uh, we have a couple uh, dice bags. All of their products are high quality. You give them the image, they make it custom made. Uh, there's also stores on there too of things other people have made. I would check them out, I highly recommend them. If you decide to buy something, use promo code CROCODILEMTG10. That'll save you 10% off at checkout. And finally, if you would like to support our content, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash crocodilemtg. We are working on getting a lot of rewards for our Patreons. We have a few up there already. We have access to our Discord server. Discord server. Uh, we're getting tokens very soon. If you're a Patreon, if you're a patron right now, uh, you're going to end up getting those awards as soon as they become available. So sign up today if you'd like to support us. Thank you so much. Uh, our smallest amount is a dollar a month, not even like per video because we make a lot of videos here. So thank you so much for checking us out. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I went 2-1 today on uh, this uh, Vintage Cube. 
we drafted a pretty decent reanimator deck i was surprised how well it came together and i did not expect it to so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video for your custom play mats mouse pads and more head over to inked gaming use promo code crocodile mtg10 to receive 10 percent off your order today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors affiliates and patrons